Filmic Pro V6 offers extensive support for a variety of aspect ratios and can be accessed by opening settings, then tapping resolution. If you're completely new to aspect ratio, simply put, it's the relationship between the width and height of your frame. And by default, Filmic Pro is set to record in 16x9, as this matches the native aspect ratio of your iPhone sensor and is the most common format used for the majority of video cameras, DSLRs, widescreen monitors, TVs, and projectors. However, Filmic Pro includes many other aspect ratios such as the classic 2.59 to 1, otherwise known as Cinerama, that gives you a much wider aspect ratio reminiscent of epics and spaghetti westerns. 4x3, which was the standard for CRT monitors and displays before being superseded by 16x9, and perhaps most importantly, 1 to 1, which is the square video format popularized by Instagram. As you can see, Filmic Pro uses a semi-transparent black border to indicate what will be cut off when using your currently selected aspect ratio so that you can frame accordingly. By default, Crop Source to Overlay is enabled. With this feature turned on, your video will be automatically cropped to exclude anything outside of your selected aspect ratio. This has the benefit of saving you time in post as you don't have to recrop your clips. However, as content creators are increasingly having to output multiple versions of a single video for different platforms such as YouTube and Instagram, there are times when you won't want this on. If you turn off Crop Source to Overlay, the black transparent area disappears and we're just left with a crisp one-to-one -one framing guide and our recording will be captured using the native sensor's full aspect ratio of 16x9. This is really useful as it means you can ensure your framing will work for both widescreen 16x9 platforms like YouTube and video, as well as one-to-one -one platforms like Instagram. For example, with the one-to-one -one guide enabled, I can properly compose my scene for both formats and ensure that Wonder Woman and Batman are only visible in my 16x9 version, whereas the dude will take center stage in my square version for Instagram. Whilst I only moved Batman and Wonder Woman ever so slightly, this makes the difference between just cropping a 16x9 version after the fact and having poor framing as these characters get partially cut off, and having a designated one-to-one -one version that looks great without the compromise. You can use this technique to ensure that key elements of your frame will also display correctly on old 4x3 displays, but remember that after selecting a new aspect ratio, Crop Source to Overlay will be enabled again by default, so remember to turn it off if you just want to use it as a framing guide. Well, I hope you found this little tip useful and it saves you some time shooting multi-platform video. I'd love to hear your thoughts and questions, and of course you can leave them in the comment section below. Check back next week for another Filmic Pro V6 tutorial.